Thank you for stopping by the Random Green Channel. <clears throat> I just got done watching the World Cup. It was a couple hours ago. Finished around, well, more than a couple hours ago. So I really thought that there's any moral victories. USA came with a moral victory, but still a tie. Nonetheless, it was a good game by USA. I thought England was going to crush USA in uh, world, the World Football Cup. <clears throat> but I wanted to do a video concerning the Watchtower study. And I haven't done a G XGW video in a while. Um, but if I want to direct your attention to, is your name in the Book of Life? Now I don't I don't want to take a whole lot of your time. But as you know, that's probably the picture is dressing by the clothing, faithful witnesses, and faithful witnesses of the Watchtower Society. <clears throat> now, the JW organization, and I might be contradicting myself or being a little random, but and I know they don't mean the same thing. But I haven't found a religion that does the work that they do when it comes when it comes to the preaching work. Now they have made, they are the biggest supporters of God's kingdom. But I believe, since I'm disfellowshipped and out of the organization, been out of the organization for over eleven years, I can confidently say, and it's not gonna like I say, it's not gonna be a big deal if I say this because I'm already disfellowshipped and if Armageddon came tomorrow and if it is the true faith, then I'm going to be destroyed. So it doesn't really matter. But I wanted to share, share this. And I I hate doing videos on uh, global genocide. And the more videos that I do, most videos that I do are mostly gaming and Google Earth and random things. <clears throat> and uh, sports or whatever. But I really, this is all about fear-mongering, this uh, Watchtower study. And it's all about keeping people in the organization. Now, I saw something. And it says right here, where it talks about whose names are in the Book of Life, those will be resurrected, uh, resurrection to life and judgment. But they don't say, they don't have like the three highlighted things about who's going to be destroyed. Now, they do talk about it. So it says right here, whose names are in the book of life? In the book, the anointed, those who have been selected to rule Jesus in heaven. So those who are faithful to the point of death or whatever in, in the organization's eyes. Will will select will be selected to rule Jesus in heaven, one hundred forty four thousand. Now these individuals, keep in mind, don't have any final test, don't have any uh, thousand years to get back to perfection. In fact, they'll just be judges. They'll rule with Jesus, first class citizenship, first class up in heaven with Jesus. What more could you ask for? Other than, I don't know. Who knows? It's, it, it might not even happen. It might not even be true. None of this might not be true. The righteous, Jehovah's worshippers who died faithful to him, they will be resurrected on earth. The great crowd of other sheep, current worshipers, worshipers of Jehovah, who have an earthly hope, second class citizenship. So, not in the book. So, what I read was in the book. So, not in the book. The goats, wicked ones who reject Jehovah and who deliberately sin against the Holy Spirit, they will be destroyed at Armageddon. So if you're alive and not a born-in GW, then you will be destroyed at Armageddon. Well, good. Who wants to live forever as a second-class citizen, burying dead bodies and working for an eternity with physical bodies? No, you want to, your second, the first-class citizenship and is with Christ. Be able to travel the distant galaxies. You're stuck right here on Earth doing the same. Oh. The unrighteous, those who do not did not serve Jehovah faithfully, but will be resurrected on earth, they'll be given an opportunity to have their name during the book of life. So it doesn't make uh, it doesn't say anything about those who are disfellowshipped and die. 
But I think that's what they're hinting to, towards. I think they're hinting towards those who did die that are disfellowshipped. They'll have another chance. And it's really asinine if you really think about it, if you really examine it and use critical thinking. Don't let fear guide your thinking. And that's what JWs do. They let their fear, they let fear from the evil slave, I mean the faithful slave, guide them. Now, you know, it's ridiculous. Those who did not serve Jehovah faithfully, organization, will be brought back to life on earth. And have a chance. They'll have a thousand years to prove their worth. One, one, that's another story for another time. Worth. You're worth. You're worthy. They'll be given an opportunity to have their names written in the book of life. So if someone lived in the seventh century, was wicked and vile, they'll be brought back to life on earth. You know how crazy that is. It's absolutely asinine and ludicrous. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And it's not just, and it's not love. And I didn't really want to read a lot of these articles. I did read some of the stuff. And uh, I just covered pretty much what I wanted to cover. And you you have an opportunity to read this. I'll read uh, 13 and 14. I'll do it quickly. Jesus also spoke about those who would be resurrected here on earth. For example, he said, the hour is coming in which all those in the memorial tombs will hear this voice. And come out those who did good things to a resurrection of life, and those who practice vile things to a resurrection of judgment. What did Jesus mean? In the past, we understood Jesus' words to refer to the deeds of resurrected ones will practice after the resurrection. That is, some will come to life and practice good things. Others will come to life and practice vile things. That's been an old teaching for a long time. And it's not a new teaching. However, note that Jesus... Did, does not have the does not say that those who have just come out of the memorial tomb memorial tombs will do good things or practice vile things. He used the past tense. He spoke of those who did good things and those who practice vile things. This indicates that these actions took place before their death. Okay, that may be true, but how does this make sense of those who are going to be destroyed at Armageddon and those who die before the end? See, you know what I mean? You know what I mean there. You don't, just because you die before the end doesn't mean, oh, you're going to be automatically come back. And that's what this article is teaching. That's what the the core doctrine of the GW organization, that keeps people in fear, that keeps people in that organization so they will avoid blood, they will shun their relatives if they leave because they're taught they're going to be the sword of their arm again if they don't do that. You see what I mean? I have defended this organization far too long a lot in some of my videos. No more. I can't do it. On good conscience, even if it is the truth, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, and for the most part, I've never really. There was a couple times where I defended the organization, and I said it's the closest thing to the true religion. And maybe at the time I thought it was, but when you look at all the core teachings of this and their doctrine, eh, it doesn't make any sense to me, and it shouldn't make any sense though, to a person that God gave you a, a conscience and a critical thinking mind to examine the stuff. It's simple as that. Now, someone will say, well, God has much higher thoughts than if, when it comes to Armageddon and all that. <laughs> but we know what justice is, and we know that's not justice by killing everybody who is alive when Armageddon breaks out and resurrecting somebody like Adolf Hitler or Pol Pot are Genghis Khan are really terrible individuals that lived in prior times. So that gives them a first, well, they die before the end. They, and here we go with Romans 6, 7, which says the one who has died has been acquitted from his sin. The sins committed by these righteous ones were canceled at death, but the record of faithful, remain, faithfulness remains. So, if, that, if you go by this, this logic right here, it talks about Romans 6, 7, then those that died in Armageddon will be squitted for their sins. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I mean, you talk, talk, talk about just not good critical thinking. Now, here's where I'm fine with if everybody's perfect and has the same at the end of a thousand years, 
I think it says that. But, yeah, there's a lot to endeavor. There's a lot of things I could say about this, too. And it talks about, uh, I can't, I don't really remember what it is. You just bear with me a little bit longer. The video is almost done, so. Um, Jesus, you talk about how stupid this is, uh, you know. And <clears throat> if it is the truth, then, I'm, then I'm, whatever. I can't in good conscience go to the organization, serve a guy like this, and think that it's these individuals actually think that they're actually loving God. You think God would not want to coerce people this way. The God of the Bible, the creator of the heavens and earth, wouldn't want to coerce people this way. So it talks about, and you'll have to read it. Um, oh, yeah, I already read the goats about that. So the goats are the ones that are alive. And then, you know, it just, you have to, like I say, I, I'm in lost words. Of, <laughs> anyway, I could say a lot more. So I think I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm done. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.